Okay, this is just going to be a quick and dirty video about how I take 223 brass and convert it to 300 blackout. As you can see, I got everything laid out on the bench. It looks like a total mess, but it is a pretty efficient streamlined process. So I'll show you how it works here in a minute. Normally what I would do is I would take all of my brass through each prep station before moving on, but for today's purposes, I'm just going to take one piece of brass through each process just to show you how it works. The first thing you're going to want to do is clean and anneal your brass. This is a piece of Lake City brass. I've been using Lake City for about a year now. It comes pretty highly regarded through the online forums for using it for 300 blackout brass. Uh, it's a good high quality brass with a good neck thickness and I haven't had any issues with it so far. And I'll be using this two inch bench top cutoff saw to chop the neck off of it. I bought this saw about two years ago from Harbor Freight and it's one of the few things I don't regret purchasing from there. I think I paid about $30 for it and I'll put the link to this in the description down below. And as you can see on this one, it has a red lever here for a safety feature that moves out of the way when you depress this button. Well, I went ahead and just cut that off of mine. I didn't see it as a safety feature and it was really slowing down production, so I went ahead and just got rid of it. This is the Von Zepp jig. This is one of the first and most popular jigs to hit the market after 300 Blackout became popular. A couple years ago, I was browsing through some online forums and came across one that was ran by a dude that went by the handle of vonzep58 at yahoo.com, and he sold this jig exclusively through the forum. I believe since then, he's created a website where you can go to purchase this, and I'll put the link to that in the description below. This is a pretty easy jig to set up. It comes with its own hardware. It's built for this saw specifically, and these two screws are all that lock it in place. This one comes up from the bottom and has a locking nut on the top, and this is just a hex screw that goes in from the top. So what you do is you put your hardware in and get it fairly tight and then you're gonna put a 300 blackout brass in right there and push it through until it locks. Now I've already got a couple in here so it's hit this detent right here and it locks in place and it'll be sticking out right there. So then you're gonna lower the saw blade down and push the jig up to where it almost makes contact with the saw blade and then back it off slightly. You want it squared up, but it doesn't have to be super close to the blade. It doesn't have to be perfect, just close. The precision comes in the trimming stage. So let's go ahead and put some 223 through this. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and insert a piece of 223 brass into the jig and push it through until you feel that next one lock into the detent right there. That's solid. Now I'm gonna go ahead and lower the saw blade down onto the brass pretty fast at first, but then I'm gonna slow up as I get towards the end. The reason I slowed up is just to keep that loose piece from flying all over. All right, now you go ahead and just push your next piece of brass in, and it kicks that one out, and we're ready for the sizer. Okay, so now we're ready for the sizing die. I'm just gonna bring it over here, give it a quick roll on the lube pad. As you can see, I've already got my 300 blackout dies set up in my press. Let's go ahead and give it a press. I'm gonna knock out that primer. There we go, we're all sized up. Let's come over here to the trimmer. Gonna drop it in the trimmer. I use the RCBS manual trimmer. As you can see, it's not a manual. I used a piece that I found online to convert it with my drill and it is an absolute dream. It's super fast and really efficient. So here we go. And we're done. So just pull it out. And as you can see, you've got a really rough lip around there. So we're gonna clean that up with a little chamfer and deburr. I've been using this Lyman case prep center and it's just been amazing. It's really sped up my time, clean up that neck there, and then also I like to clean up the primer pocket. And that's it. We have one fresh piece of 300 blackout brass, just as easy as that. So there you go guys, it's just as simple as that. It's really pretty easy to make your own 300 blackout brass once you get your tools all set up. You're just going to take that 223 brass, cut the neck off of it, run it through the sizing die, trim it, chamfer, and deburr. Hey, I really appreciate you watching. Thanks for taking the time. If you haven't already, go ahead and like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.